Hey what's happening guys, it's Bharat Nagpal for iGear Android In and today we're going to be unboxing and taking our first look at the new Micromax Canvas 6. Now the Micromax Canvas 6 comes after Micromax rebranding into this new logo. They launched a bunch of handsets and the Canvas 6 is sort of their revision to their Canvas series. Uh, the Canvas Pro which was launched recently didn't do so well for the company. So the company is betting their money on the Canvas 6. So let's go on ahead and unbox it and see what all we get inside the box and then we'll take a look at the device itself. So inside the box you'll get a USB cable and you also have a wall charger. You'll also get some earphones, they're in-ear style earphones but they're not the best kind we've seen them in the past. You'll also get some documentation, a SIM removal tool and uh, a couple of promotional uh, documents as well. In there you also get SAR information. A screen protector is also included, uh, which is not pre-installed. It's available separately, so you'll need to install it yourself. It's time to take a look at the device itself. I'm going to try and get rid of all of this plastic that's on the device. Uh, the phone is pretty hefty. It feels a little heavier in the hand. It's completely made out of metal, which is a good thing, uh, but the edges and all seem a little sharp. If we do a quick one over with the device, you'll see that over at the front you have a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080p display, giving it a total of 401 pixels per inch. Uh, you get an IPS LCD display, which is great, and you also get Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Above the display, you'll see an 8 megapixel front facing camera along with the earpiece and a notification LED light. The buttons are on screen, so you have nothing on the bottom of the display. If you look at the bottom of the device, you'll see a speakerphone and microphone grill combination. Uh, one of them is a speaker, one of them is a microphone. Dead in the center, you'll see uh, the micro USB charging and data syncing port along with screws uh, that sort of add to the industrial design of the device. Over at the right, you'll see the power button and volume rocker. Over at the top is a secondary noise cancellation microphone along with 3.5mm headphone jack. Over at the left is where your dual SIM tray is. You can also pop in a micro SD card if uh, you need to up to 64 gigabyte. Over at the back, you'll see a fingerprint scanner dead center, which looks nice. It actually looked like the camera to us earlier, but it's actually the fingerprint scanner. Thank God it's black. It looks uh, really nice. It stands out a really unique sort of design proposition over here. Above that, you'll see a dual tone LED flash, although it appears to be a single LED, but it does uh, put out a dual tone. Uh, above that is a 13 megapixel F2 uh, camera which does have phase detection autofocus it sits in this black glass band that's on the top over here it appears to be gorilla glass as well some sort of scratch resistant glass uh, which is over here below that you'll see the new micromax logo we are quite happy with this it's not over the top you're not seeing micromax as a word being branded on the device anywhere just this small logo at the bottom uh, really nice in terms of design and feel Overall device is slightly sharp on the edges, it's not rounded off and over the, the front you will also see your thumb sort of scratching off the side. Uh, the device is slightly sharp, you do have chamfered edges uh, giving it a really nice and premium look overall uh, but it does feel a little sharp in the hand. The back camera, like I said, is 13 megapixel, but it only shoots 1080p video. Now, if you talk about what's running this device, you're running a MediaTek Helio X10, which is an MT6795 chipset. You get octa-core on 2 gigahertz with the Cortex A53 CPU. You also get the PowerVR G600 GPU. So that's great. You get 3 gigabyte of RAM and 32 gigabyte of onboard storage, which is also a pretty good combination. The Canvas 6 is priced for 13,999, which makes it a pretty decent proposition for this price. Although you do have the likes of the Zook Z1, which was just launched. Uh, our unboxing for this should be out shortly after the Micromax Canvas 6 unboxing. And also things like the Redmi and the Le Echo phones, which are slightly cheaper and offer uh, maybe better chipsets in terms of processing and power. Uh, but you're looking at a 3000 milliamp hour battery over here, uh, which gives it a decent days usage time is what the company is claiming out of the 32 gigabyte of storage you get about 25 gigabyte free uh, for uh, installing applications etc and if the company is to be believed we can transfer applications to the micro sd card we did take a look at the camera and uh, it does seem a little slow at first uh, micromax has said that this device will be upgraded to marshmallow although right now it's running android 5.1 
we see that the browser and all seem to be slightly slow to use. On the left of the main home screen sits Around. Around is now a rebranded version of uh, what the company was earlier calling Around You. It was a part of You Televentures' phones, but now it's available on all Micromax devices as well. So Around as a platform, as a software is pre-installed on the device. Uh, but we are seeing very little bloatware and whatever little applications that are installed can easily be uninstalled, which is great. Uh, only the Micromax apps that are uh, pre-installed cannot be uninstalled, but a lot of applications can be removed from the device. Another good thing is that when you're starting up the device, it will ask you what all applications you want to install. And if you don't want to install any bloatware, uh, the software allows you to bypass installing and uninstalling these applications in case you don't want them. Still a certain bit of applications do remain pre-installed, which may not be such a great thing after all. The device also does have an FM radio for those who are interested in using that. Uh, the viewing angles seemed really nice on the display, uh, thanks to it being an IPS display. Uh, overall usability seems okay, but we are seeing a little bit of lag, especially from the browser. We tried using the Chrome browser as well as the default browser. Uh, not much improvement on either. The camera as the camera app is fairly basic. It does have a bunch of features. You also have something called live photo mode in which they're trying to mimic what iOS does with live photos. A very, very poor rendition of that. We are not enjoying that capability on this device at all. The fingerprint scanner is also pretty fast. It does unlock the device uh, fairly quickly. It'll only vibrate if it cannot recognize your finger. So if it does recognize your finger, the phone will not vibrate, which I feel is a good usage case for the device. I'll tell you that the Canvas 6 weighs in at 163 grams and is 8.7 mm at its thickest. Uh, with those kind of dimensions at the sharp edges, it becomes slightly difficult to use this device with one hand. We'll be out with a full review of the Canvas 6 shortly. Please let us know what you'd like us to cover in the full review and we'll try and get that included. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button uh, to follow us on our journey of tech. This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.